I am back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Network. We're going to talk about Kamala Harris. She went on the Stephen Colbert late night show. Of course, um, as you can imagine, I'm sure they fully embraced Kamala Harris on that show. Stephen Colbert is a ultra-progressive socialist liberal out there with his dancing skits of vaccine syringes what was that q-tips i can't remember uh that dude was off the chain when it came to the pandemic you should be locked up mandates um i hate trump we know everything that has come with uh shows like stephen colbert and jimmy kimmel well kamala harris kamala uh, kamala uh, uh who cares who cares how you exactly say it uh so anyway kamala was on that show last night and i'm sure much to her chagrin when she showed up leaving coming and going there were pro-american america first protesters out there representing disgruntled americans all over the country and they absolutely let her hear it i know that sounds strange when's the last time we said we protested anything I mean, we've sat back watching Tifa and BLM burn down the country, supposedly in protest. Nothing to see here. This is mostly peaceful. Never mind that burning building behind me. Well, Kamala has failed with about everything she's been handed uh, from the Biden administration to try to work on. Most notably, of course, the border. The border's a dumpster fire. They're having to have hearings on it right now. Uh, now that we got a little control in there, people are being actually called before the wolves we'll see if anything actually happens fentanyl just streaming across the border into the country people are dying everywhere we're seeing kids and infants and shit die now because of fentanyl and it's getting in this country she was tasked with that it seems the only thing that she might really be good at is going downtown on willie brown uh, somebody had to say it right or being brave, stunning, and courageous when it comes to Brittany Griner and getting her home. Christ, let's get to this. I See, I, I'm talking about this. I actually got pissed for a half a second because this bee has no idea what she's doing. It's ridiculous. I see people like Carrie Lake and Tulsi Gabbard and all these people that would be this would be great vice presidents. You have to check boxes. You need a woman in there. How about one of those two? They could actually not embarrass us on a world stage, whatever. You First, you have the buses, and then you have the schools, and there's kids that get on the buses and go into the schools. That's how this bitch talks. I have no idea what she's trying to say ever. Nobody ever has gotten a coherent thought out of her Uh not one time. Not one time. Post-millennial, a small but vocal group of protesters gathering outside the late show with Stephen Colbert's New York studio on Wednesday afternoon heckled Vice President Kamala Harris, who was in town to pre-tape a segment, yelling, lock her up, waving signs, and chasing after her motorcade. The protesters cursed and screamed at her as she was leaving. Let's just get a little tasty taste. What up, Kamala Bitch? Mm, yeah. Is that her waving? I guess that was her way. B, they're not there to celebrate you by any stretch of the imagination. Any stretch. Oh, they turned around. She, I think, did she get in? Right there. Right there. There she is right there. This thing doesn't have blacked out windows. They don't even put her in something with blacked out windows because uh, that's how little, I mean. Wow. How about that? How about that? All right, so she got heckled. N-J-E-G, 
N-J-E-G, yeah, media told the post-millennial that protesters were against Biden, Democrats, vaccine mandates and pressure, the Great Reset, and the war in the Ukraine. Check, 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 and check, and more check. They stood by the side door waiting for her to come out. Let's see if this guy has anything. Oh, this is him waiting right here. Okay, I got you. There's some flags. Same old bullshit. There's a flag right there. Wow. Wow. One side reads, Joe and Kamala fight in the Ukraine yourselves. Send them over there. Send them over there to fight in the Ukraine. Can we keep our money? This is Harris's first appearance on the show since becoming vice president. Though she was a guest of Colbert's back in 2020, the episode is set to air on Wednesday. The announcing appearance, Colbert said the team was, quote, thrilled and excited to have Harris on the show. My God. Clearly, that joy was not the perspective shared by many New Yorkers, including those who showed up in the cold to express their disdain for the Venn diagram loving VIVP whose cackling laugh, oh, I forgot about her laugh, has become a hallmark of awkward White House moments. Oh, let's get us a little laugh. Can we get a laugh? You know, part of what you'll remember that we talked about was, um, so, I'll, I'll, okay, so I'll back up. I love Venn diagrams. What? <laughs> I really do. I love Venn diagrams. It's just something about those three circles and the analysis about where there is the intersection, right? Yeah, I see. What the hell is she even talking about? No, nobody knows what the hell she's talking about. Nobody knows what her significance is. What has she done? I mean, for crying out, Democrats are trying to distance Joe Biden. Do you know how big of a F up you have to be? For dementia, Joe, because you're making him look worse? How can he look worse? Let's mix in a little Kamala Harris. Now he looks worse. That's been the only thing, because a lot of people have been like, well, you know, if Joe was to go down for mental incapability, we can't have that happen, because this is what you're left with. Okay? You're left with the pond scum on the farm animal totem pole that's what you got down here pond scum Kamala Harris up here farm animals you got a, a Budweiser horse at the top for crying out loud you got a bison buffalo at the top Kamala Harris I'm sure I have not seen this appearance yet I have not I have not seen any clips from said appearance from Stephen Colbert I'm sure they embraced her of course and loved on her and celebrated her like she's some kind of a hero by the way she doesn't even know what race she is there I said it I said it one week she was Indian the next week she was black can you send me a scorecard because I can't keep up I, I mean I can't keep up you got your husband kissing on was it Jill Biden? Hell, I can't remember. I mean, who knows? I will say this. Kamala knows how to play the game. I mean, look. Willie Brown moved my way up the, the food chain. Married me a white dude just so I got that base covered. Brave, stunning, courageous. My God, the stunning Kamala Harris. Congratul I'm, I'm happy. Congratulations to these protesters. You actually brave New York. You got out there in New York. I'm surprised y'all didn't get shot in a drive-by trying to do this in New York. Make sure you get out there, protest Alvin Bragg and Eric Adams and everybody else, too. I mean, New York's a nightmare as well. Kamala Harris, you fit right in. You fit right in. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. I had to show this. We actually had some pro-Americans braving New York to get out there to make fun of Kamala Harris. I got to shit on her for a good 10 minutes. That makes me happy. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.